Well, when I was offered to make something for this great spot on the roof, I was very daunted because the skyline is so amazing. So I thought I wanted to put something architectural on the roof, a kind of incongruous, you know, uh, domestic house. Originally it was going to be a red barn, but then I realised quite quickly that red barns were far too big to go on the roof. And then I was looking at Hopper, Edward Hopper paintings, and he painted a house called the House by the Railroad. And reading about it, I realised that Hitchcock had based his psycho house on this painting, and I really loved that. Hopper also had painted lots of red barns, and so my red barn came back into play again. And I thought, well, why don't I make the house out of the red barn? I collaborated with a restoration company who go around America and they take down old barns. And so the roof of, of this house is made from the corrugated metal from the, the barn roof. The siding is made obviously from the siding of the barn. So this is the barn reconfigured. So I quite like the idea of the barn being this quite wholesome thing, this you know, lovely thing about the landscape and, and the countryside and politicians like standing in front of red barns because it typifies wholesomeness. And then the psycho house is the opposite, it's just <laughs> all the dark psychological stuff you don't really want to look at. I was very excited to find the original set from Psycho it was only two flats, all propped up from behind, like a stage set would be, and it was filmed from a particular angle, so you only saw the house side on. I've built the house in the same angle, I've tipped it into the corner, and then if you go around the back you can see it's all propped up and you realise it's a facade. But I wanted it to be believable from this angle, so the roof garden becomes the garden of this house. So I like the idea of the privet hedge around the Met roof, <laughs> and then hunkering in the corner is this this sinister house. So I like the idea that you take things that perhaps seem cliched, but they're cliched for a reason. They resonate with a huge amount of people and that's why they're in the most visited spots. And I somehow think the inverse of the cliché is the most unknown place.